Hey there Warriors, I wanted to share with you quickly this project where you can use OpenAI API completion with whatever model you want. There is also Dolly 2 and Dolly 3 image models and you can choose whatever format you want. And also text to speech. And here you can also choose the model and you can choose type of voice that you want. And the reason I created this project is to be able to start micro SaaS products really quickly. So if you've seen textual games, for example, where you can play your unique stories or the meal planner AI project where you can create your own meal plans and later you get them saved onto your account. So both of these projects are built using this Orkish AI Next.js framework. As always, you have a link in the description below to a public GitHub repository. You can clone it and try out to create your own AI project. So let's see what are the features of this framework or boilerplate or whatever you want to call it. I call it simply Orkish AI Next.js framework. First thing that we have are obviously these AI endpoints. So if we go to our code to our AI server router, we can see here that we have our completion API endpoint, our image API endpoint, and the voice API endpoint. So for all three, we are putting some prompts and based on that, we are getting back the data from OpenAI. And these comments that you see here are used for other feature and that's the token system. So if you check here, I have 183 tokens and if we go here and uncomment these comments inside of our completion API endpoint and here we just import our database and our token spans here from Drizzle like this and get total tokens and also we need that current user this one which is imported from clerk so we are using clerk for our authentication and here now if we go to completion and we say for example give me 10 orkish names and we get our completion you're going to see that here we are going to spend one token so if i refresh now we have 182 tokens. So that is a system that can be used to potentially monetize your project. Based on your tokens, you are going to spend here the account usage for your OpenAI account and potentially earn some money. Third feature is that you have the authentication. You already seen that. So we are using Clerk here and to be able to do anything with our AI stuff, we have to be logged in. So if I log out from here, I'm going to my home page and I cannot use anything without signing in. So there is a authentication system created for the Orkish AI Next.js framework. And next feature is that you actually have Stripe connected so we can buy our tokens and here we have cheapest, efficient and best deal. So here you can write whatever you want and we can buy 50 tokens. So there is a Stripe implementation for this one. I'm going to use just the sandbox like this and I'm putting whatever I need here and I'm buying tokens. And now we have this congratulations screen. And if we go back to our local host 3000, we can see that we have 232 tokens so we successfully bought 50 tokens of course you can see that we are using here my favorite ui library and that's shed cn and now with v0 and with cursor ai and all the things from this package here from this framework from this boilerplate you can really quickly create whatever you need. You can just go to the GitHub repo, clone this project on your machine, and here in the readme file, you have everything in details explained how you need to use this. So of course you need OpenAI API key, you need your clerk publishable key, you need your Stripe key also, 
Well, I, now I saw that I forgot to put that one into the readme. I'll add that after creating this video and you just run it on your local host and you can test it out and you can change it visually. You can add things like I added in the meal planner and textual games and create whatever idea you have for the AI project. I really hope you are going to create something with Orkish AI in the XJS framework. And if you do, please comment on the video or comment in the Discord channel, wherever you want. I'm really curious, what are you going to create and what kind of ideas you have? And I'd really like to see how is it looking in the end.